It's time to finish out the greatest career in college football history. Heisman frontrunner Ziggy Sabaka has his team set up to be the number one seed in the college football playoff, and he's carried them to an undefeated record. Going into the SEC championship game, he has 29 interceptions on the year, and he's told the media that he wants to completely smash his dad's interception record and find a way to get to 40 interceptions. In this video, we'll see if he can achieve this ridiculous goal and prove that he is truly the greatest college football player of all time. So in the SEC championship game, we're taking on Georgia, who is 99 overall across the board and they dot us up to start the game i thought we had that baited up for a pick so not an ideal start we pretty much have our playoff spot locked down but georgia's still fighting to get in that top 12 and they are coming out hot scoring a touchdown this game is not going to be easy we've got georgia pinned inside the five and they just go fullback dive dude has a ton of space and he is out in the open this defense has been locked down all year but all of a sudden we're getting gashed and Beck continues to just throw lasers that one's to mcconkey and he's gonna take it into the end zone. I'm not sure what's going on, but offense responds with a big time touchdown. Ziggy has not had a productive day so far. He hasn't been looking very sharp. Thankfully, we finally come up with a stop, but offense is not able to score. We need to make something happen before halftime. And Ziggy was baiting that up a ton, but he throws it to the other side and somehow that gets completed. These Georgia receivers have been ridiculous so far and somehow the quarterback gets that off to get him into field goal range. Thankfully, their kicker misses it, so we're still alive, but going into the second half, this is looking really tough. We're just driving it on us again and he's chucking it up to Ziggy's man. Thankfully the safety saves us. That could have been bad. I baited that route up way too much. And damn it man I did not think he was going to throw that. Came off of the route. And this is a big time third and eight here. They're running the out route and this time Ziggy goes up to get it. An absolutely massive pick in the red zone. That was Ziggy's 30th pick of the season and he does it in style. He's officially broken his dad's interception record. We just need to find a way to get a stop here. And offense gives us the lead. Now we just got to hold it down for these last few minutes. And we're all over that. I don't know what he was doing throwing that, but we are just adding to that crazy interception total. Offense scores another touchdown, but Georgia takes a kick return to the house. So this game is far from over. He might have a receiver deep here, but thankfully number four deflects it. Ziggy's got to be more careful. We got caught peeking in the backfield there. And uh-oh, man, number three is toast. McConkie's streaking down the field and they're going to get deep into our territory. So just like that, we might be in trouble. This time though, number three covers it perfectly and comes down with it. That should do it. And we are SEC champions. Two incredibly clutch picks from Ziggy saved the day. 31 interceptions on the year for Ziggy now. And it's time to find out if we won the Heisman Trophy. This should hopefully be a no doubter. And Ziggy is going to win it in an absolute landslide. He will of course win every other award as well. So in the first round of the playoffs, we're taken on San Jose State, which might seem like a joke, but they're 86 overall and they actually beat Alabama. So a very interesting first round playoff matchup for us. This should hopefully be a breeze and they're running a screen on the first play. Are you stupid, San Jose State? 32nd pick of the season for Ziggy and we could not have asked for a better start in this game. I'm hoping we get a snowball effect here. And this time they're running the wide receiver screen. We just miss it, man. I overran it just a hair. That would have been crazy if we got pick sixes on the first two drives. But we are just locking down this offense right now. Our offense goes ahead and gives us a two-score lead. And the best defense in the country continues to dominate. Ziggy comes up with his second pick of the day on the bounce route. And I'm trying to take this to the house. We get inside the 10. Literally could not have played that any better. Look at this, man. We know exactly where the route's going to go. Bait it up beautifully. At this point, it looks possible that Ziggy could get 40 picks on the season. That was almost our third of the day. And this is an excellent opportunity. San Jose State's going to have to try to work fast here. And I thought we had that out route baited up perfectly. On second down, San Diego State's going five wide, and I beat it up just a tad too much. Thought we had it. They kick the field goal. We head to halftime with a commanding lead, and once again, man, we just bait that route up a little bit too much. I keep being surprised that the quarterback's throwing these passes, and he tries us again. This time, Ziggy comes up with the one-handed pick literally for no reason, and we almost broke out of there. Look at this, bro. He just calmly suctions this into his hand. How many three interception days have we had this season? This season has just really been a breakthrough. It is crazy how much Ziggy improved proved considering how good he was before and now it seems like he'll definitely go number one in the draft this game is all but over i'm just here for the stats at this point that fourth pick just continues to barely elude us i think we got it in us though as long as coach doesn't take us out before the end of the game we come up with a sack and that's gonna do it we're headed to the playoff semifinals. ziggy is of course player of the game with three nice interceptions so next up we're taking on penn state and drew aller it looks like they're rocking a run heavy offense and they're coming out with a hurry up something we really haven't seen all year 
here. Ziggy absolutely crushes their running back. So now we got a third and long. Should be a chance for a pick. And that should have been it, man. Ziggy can't hold on to it. Thankfully, offense goes ahead and gives us the lead. I have a feeling this is going to be a dogfight, though. Right now, they are really keeping it on the ground. We can play run support all day, but now we got a second and long. And I thought that was a screen. We might be toast, but number three is able to get the deflection. Our cornerback comes up clutch. And there's the screen we were looking for, man. I second guess myself a little bit. So no interception and offense turns it over. We're going to need to come up with a big time stop. So third and five, we can hold them to a field goal here. That'd be a huge win. But they slice us up. Thankfully, dude drops the wide open touchdown. That's got to be so frustrating for the play caller, man. They had the perfect call for us. And then they go ahead and miss the field goal. But they've got us again here. And that is going to be a touchdown. They're finding creative ways to get those deep routes into Ziggy's zone. We've got to be more conscientious of that. So third and nine, they're right outside of field goal range. And they're just running slants once again, man. Thought we had that baited up, but Aller stays away from us. This game is not going how I'd hoped. We might be on upset alert here. So huge third and five. Penn State's going five wide. And that's that same play. This time he does try us, but we're just a step behind it. Was hoping Ziggy would jump for that. But a beautifully placed ball gets us. And he's trying us again. This time Ziggy's able to get in front of it. But once again, man, he's showing the brick hands today. And this third down could potentially be a game decider. That's just a screen and our dude on the other side jumps it beautifully don't get caught bro he's going to break a tackle and number 21 takes it to the house for an absolute game changer just like that we take the lead so we head into the second half with a four point lead and ziggy's gonna start off this half with a pick man he finally caught one and he has a chance to take it to the house stiff arming his way into the end zone this game just turned on a dime what looked like it was gonna be a two score lead for them has turned into a two score lead for us one interception is all we need and Ziggy plays the halfback angle beautifully. That might do it for this one. Offense gets a touchdown, and this one is looking pretty good, folks. Penn State's going direct snap on third down. What kind of a call is that, bro? So all we gotta do is keep everything in front of us here. Aller's trying to scramble. Sit the hell down. I want another three interception game here in the playoffs. This is the game right here. Fourth and three. And they're going slants. Dude catches it, but we sit him down. It's okay, man. As long as they don't get too many quick hitters here, we'll be fine. That's a quick hitter there, though. They're gonna get inside the 15. I am sensing another pick on the way here. On second down, they're going screen. We're able to break it up, but can't get the pick. I had a feeling that was coming. I didn't want to jump it too much though, and they're able to score. Thankfully, offense kills all the clock they needed to kill. Now we can just try to bait things up and get a pick, but with 20 seconds left, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm gonna just try to get me a pick here. That's gonna be way short of the sticks anyways. So for the second year in a row, we're headed to the national championship game, thanks in part to a two-pick performance from Ziggy. So with one game left in Ziggy's career, we have 30 six picks. If we get four today, we could get to 40. So it's time for the final game of Ziggy's career. If he can win the national championship, he'll cement himself as the greatest player in college football history. And we're taking on undefeated K-State in this game. Both of these teams have the chance to become the first 16-0 teams in college football history. As Ziggy picks up his first tackle of the day there. K-State looks like more of a run-heavy team, so it seems kind of unlikely we'll reach that 40 interception mark today. But regardless of what happens, it has been an insane season. I just want to cap it off with a natty. And our boy number three is going to come up with the pick. He might have the speed to take this to the house and he stiff arms his way inside the 10. Sadly, offense only able to turn that into three, but that is a great start for this defensive backfield. So third down and eight. I have a feeling this is a halfback screen. Nope, that's a wide receiver screen. Number three almost had his second pick of the day. We're going to head to the second quarter up by three. And I don't know where he was throwing that. Should have been a pick for Ziggy, but number 10 swats it down. On third and 13, I'm kind of watching for that wide receiver screen. It's going to be a fake bubble quarterback takes off and we're all over it. Defense continues the bend don't break, but offense just keeps turning it over. That's the halfback screen from K-State though, and Ziggy gets his first pick of the day. This one's going to the bank to give us a two-score lead. Let's go. I knew I couldn't miss that one. Running a screen against our defensive backfield is an absolute death sentence. And they're gonna try another one, this time to the wide receiver, and Ziggy almost takes that back to the crib. We are just two interceptions short of 40 interceptions in one season. It is starting to look like a realistic possibility but on third and nine hopefully they run something we can bait up we were just a half second late dude comes back to the ball to get it offense gives us a huge lead going into the second half we might just have a blowout on our hands i want ziggy to be the one to come up big and he forces the fumble out of bounds and fun fact we only have 60 total yards on the day right now our defensive performance is completely carrying the team and that's a screen man we're on it but we overrun it just a little bit time is ticking off the clock fast they're gonna have to really start throwing it around nope looks like on third third and long they're gonna run it so this fourth and 17 
is the game. And they try Ziggy. He comes up with the one-handed pick. This should seal it up, but I'm trying to take it to the house. That'll be the 39th pick of the season for us, man. We're just one away from 40. This is a milestone I would love to hit. It's time to cap off the greatest season in college football history from any player ever. And that's going to be it. We get it on the sideline. 40 picks on the season. Absolutely amazing. And coach is going to take us off the field after that. Mississippi State wins its second national title in a row. So let me know, man. Where do you think Ziggy should end up in the NFL? He is surely going to be the number one pick as he finishes up with an absolute absolutely ridiculous 147 tackles 40 interceptions five forced fumbles what a season